and welcome to that Eurovision site, Eurovision with a Slice of Life. Today, our Supernova 2023 interviews continue with Marcus Riva, who will be hoping to represent Latvia with the song Forever. So just to start things off, how are things going today? Hey, how are you? Nice to, nice to see you. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to have a chat with you. And uh, things are really busy because, of course, Supernova is kind of soon. And I'm getting ready for my performance and a lot of rehearsals. And it's a busy and exciting time. So before we continue, let's start with like just a little quick icebreaker by just asking if there's one thing about yourself that not many people will know about. Ooh, um, I don't know what's like out there that nobody knows. Um, maybe um, that's a super tough question. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know just from where I should start. Like, um, I don't know. There's so many, so many things that probably people already know because sometimes I feel that I'm too boring for everyone <laughs> because everything is like out there and people just want something new all the time. Um, um, yeah, because everyone knows what I like. Not everyone, but like I've talked about things that I like that I do or that I did or how I was, I was a, as a kid um maybe the la the last time i cried maybe that's that's uh nobody knows is like uh it's also like a very tough and political thing but i just uh i was sitting in my car like a few days ago uh going to rehearsal and i was watching one video on instagram about ukraine and that really broke my heart and I was just crying to see how devastated the reality is right now in Ukraine. Yeah, sorry for this. That's not like super entertaining, but that's just the sad reality. And yeah. uh, boys do cry as well. So for Eurovision fans, this may be the first time that they get to know you. Could you please just tell us a little bit more about yourself? So I'm Mark Strieber from Latvia and I'm uh, in the music business uh, for almost like 20 years because I started uh, to do something in music uh, when I was 16, but also I'm like educated as a musician since I was a kid. And that was always, a, a, I always knew that music is going to be my my passion and my my thing to do. And I do also like, television i'm the host of x factor latvia for many seasons and um i've i've tried to do my career also in uh, in ukraine and russia and kazakhstan and belarus because i took a part in tv show like eight years ago in in ukraine and russia and it was pretty successful and after that i expand my music uh music territory is also in uh, post-soviet uh countries and that was a really exciting time so i'm so sad like it's uh, it's over now but uh, that's the reality and um yeah and i've been in supernova for many years and i tried to compete uh, in this national selection for many times and um yeah that's that's also one of the probably a lot of People just know me by competing in uh, in Supernova um, every year, but uh, I do also a lot of other things. I I do television, I do DJing, I host events, and I write music, I produce music, and I'm doing some acting as well. So it's it's uh, it's just entertainment and show business. So that's that's what I really like to do. So let's just move on to Eurovision. This will mm -hmm. be the first um and you'll be competing in Supernova 2023. Can I ask start by asking what made you want to participate in at the Latvian selection once again? Uh first of all, it's the 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 excitement about the big competition. It's a, such a great platform for musicians and 
for the entertainment industry. And since I'm doing that and this is my profession for so many years, uh, I really feel that I will benefit as an artist by doing that. And also I'm, I will be super proud to represent my country in a big arena. And, uh, and Eurovision is fun. It's like the biggest television show in the world. So I don't feel that experience. And I think it's like a high school for, for music and for entertainment and a lot of networking and, there are so so many benefits and it's just up to every musician how he or she just uh use that as uh, as as like a next step for their careers and uh, it's always hard to go back of course because you have some some uh experience from the last year and many years before but uh i just swallowed that uh, thing and and um, just i i always remember what's what's the goal uh why i want to do that and i try not to think about like yeah sort of maybe a disappointment from the previous times when i didn't succeed but a few times i was really close a few times were not so great a uh, few times were maybe super hard to perform or something went wrong but um, I just want to also inspire people that you have to get up and just go forward. And if something goes wrong, you shouldn't give up. Uh, you, there's like, there's like destiny for every everyone. Some somebody gets that like straight away. I'm not talking about just your vision, but in general, general, like some some other situations in life. So. Somebody gets that like straight away. Somebody has to work harder or somebody's like journey is not so easy. So I just uh, try to leave it all behind and just go forward. Um, so you will be participating with the song forever. Can I just start off by asking what the song is about? This song is about uh, this joyful moment that we all uh, have in our lives. Uh, probably everyone felt this moment when you're like so, so happy and you want this moment to be like lasting forever and to prolong this moment like even a bit longer. Of course, it's impossible, but it's this wonderful feeling. And I want to bring joy to Eurovision stage because uh, also uh the times in the world are so difficult right now with with all the gas prices and war and and everything else that's going on i feel that the society is very pressurized and very stressful so since eurovision is a fun thing and it was created to uh, get Europe out of depression after World War II to, to bring more joy and more unity for Europe. So I think uh, forever is uh, just like this joyful moment to forget about the stress and problems because they are not doing anything good for us. <laughs> so I just want to make people happy with the song forever and for people to remember those magical and wonderful moments uh, that we experienced somewhere. So obviously you've competed in Supernova quite a few times. And so if you were to yeah. ever win the national final, like it, say maybe for with, with forever, what would it mean to represent Latvia at the Eurasia Song Contest? Oh, that would be like the best thing in the world because I'm so proud to be Latvian and being from Latvia and I've traveled so many countries uh, during my life and I'm really grateful for that and and also before when I was working more with my music uh, also in in post-Soviet uh, countries I was always so proud to say that I'm from Riga I'm from Latvia and to be like a sort of like a souvenir from from Latvia and to to uh, promote my country because it's such a small country when we see the big countries and when we see how small the population of Latvia is and I'm, I'm I'll be so happy like just going on the big Eurovision stage with 
Latvian flag, red, white, red on my shoulders. And um, some people said to me a few years ago, oh, you should maybe participate from Ukraine or Belarus or some San Marino or somewhere else. But I always wanted to 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 have this flag on my shoulders just from 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 Latvia. So hopefully this this dream going to happen and can come true some, some someday soon. <laughs> So I'm just going to ask a little bit about Eurovision itself. What is your okay. like, favorite memory of the contest, um, particularly from Latvia? Uh -huh. Probably the year when Eurovision was uh, was uh, organized in Latvia when uh, Marie and she won the competition. So I think it was 2003 or something. Uh, then the competition was here and since... I was working for television for uh, like a kids TV show at that time. Um, I was probably 16 or something. And we were asked to be like the stand ins for the rehearsals. So it was like a Eurovision camp because we were going to Eurovision uh, arena every day for, for like two weeks. And just dancing on stage with all those songs and like to pretend that we are like those artists because they had to adjust the lights and the screens and maybe now it's uh, different there are no stand-ins but at that time they were using stand-ins and it was a great time and it was like a great experience to see how the U Eurovision is created and uh, how it's like actually going on. So it was a really, really nice, nice memory. So how are the preparations for your performance next month going? Can you give us any hints to what the stage in for forever will look like in Supernova? Oh, actually it's super hard this year to create something like um, really, really interesting because also the stage is not so big in, in Latin television and, and uh, also, some ideas that I got are like way too expensive, and you don't wanna uh, like I don't know sell your kidney or something just to <laughs> get the biggest stages uh, because that's just like maybe one, maybe two performances. But I'm thinking how to entertain people, and um, of course, this is like a dancey song, and I will I will have uh, dancers on stage, so I'm. I'm doing dance rehearsals also today, later, and and next week. And of course, it's going to be hopefully memorable looks because I, I I think that the look how you the way how you look on the stage it also gives some um, specific atmosphere on the stage. So yeah, I'm I'm into like creating such a nice joyful joyful moment but not not like super extra staging or something uh, i will not use anything like that but it's just going to be a fun joyful positive moment so you have participated in supernova so many times can you just give <laughs> us a little insight in how much supernova has changed over the years that you have been competing Oh, the first time when I was uh, competing uh, for this contest national selection, it was not called Supernova. It was uh, with a different name, and it was like basically like like um, like Eurovision. One song performs, then the next one, and the next one, and then after people are watching, and then they switched the the format to something different in two thousand fourteen or fifteen. I uh, I think. Uh, and uh, so it was more like um, X Factor type show because you perform and then there were like judges who were like saying, oh, this was wrong or I liked your song or I didn't. So it was like uh, always uh, kind of hard just to stand in front of the judges and they kind of criticize you. Of course, there's like a critique that you you can use to 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 progress but some sometimes it was like hmm, why are you saying like this weird stuff to me like very subject subjective because also those people are from industry and and probably you know some of them 
but um, now like last year also they they switched the format a bit so there's no judges on a place who are like also criticizing you so it's it's uh way faster as well uh there are just like songs show whatever is going on on stage and then there's just voting so they 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 went back to like the fast fast thing so there's no like blah 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 because uh it's nice to hear the critics and like it, it like if there's something useful that you can use but i don't think it's like super entertaining for the audience and for the people who are watching this show on the tv at home they they'll be like oh please talk faster we want to hear the next song so i think that's that's much better like this so um last question are there any other parts of your discography that you would like fans of forever to go listen to uh can you say it again sorry um what songs um like that you have released in the past would you like fans of forever or fans of supernova to go and listen to like what songs that you have personally released are the most important to you oh i i i released a song alive last year so it was a disco funk vibe and i recorded that in la last summer as well so it's a bit of old school track but I always been a fan of like uh, old school music from 80s, from 90s, since I was growing up during those times, also from 2000s. And uh, Alive is a song that I did also with this producer, PK, who is from LA. And, and uh, I know him uh, for so many years. Actually, he was producing some other Supernova entries like Take Me Down, which uh, was... Uh, from 2015 and last year's song if you're gonna love me so i have a pretty many like songs in english and i always enjoyed writing music in english because i i i think that pop music is very english orient oriented i i like to just have it sound but also I, I i i do have songs in latvian and in russian and ukrainian as well so uh, it's always uh, very interesting to try and learn new languages. So maybe uh, I'm going to do some music in Spanish this year. I don't know. It's just like always somewhere in my mind that I want to do that because I like also Spanish uh, as language, but I never had the time to to study that. So maybe maybe next next chapter will be something in Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> So that takes us to the end of this interview. I just want to say thank you for this opportunity to let me speak to you ahead of Supernova 2023 and good luck. Uh, is there anything you so like you would want to say to the international audience of that Eurovision site? Oh, uh, thanks for, for, for uh, being a part of this uh, big community. And I think Eurovision as a, as a project is a very important uh, as I said before, like back in the history, but like especially during these times and it doesn't matter what's going on in the world, but it's super important that this project and music and, and songs and nations, we can, we can be very united through music and not through politics. And I think that's a really cool thing to do and we should all be more positive more kind uh, and just just to stay focused on something bright and good um that takes us to the end of this interview i would like to thank marcus for joining me today and remember to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to the to our youtube channel yeah. that eurovision site for more in with the latvian national finalists for more eurovision 2023 content in general also, be sure to give us a follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook over at that Euro site. And be sure to check out that Eurovision podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and give us a like so you can be notified whenever a new episode comes out. All that's left.